Hi, I'm Tiffany Hall, Chief Growth Officer here at Aesthetic Record, and I'm excited to launch with you today our new provider schedule. Over the course of the next few minutes, we're going to go through a couple of quick things to make this provider schedule very different from our existing structure. We're going to go through the icons, how to set up a template, how to do a manual override, how to add multiple schedules for the same day with different clinics, and also how to stop your templates going forward. So let's go ahead and get started here. You're going to first go to your Appointments tab. Once you're inside of this, go to your little widget for Smart Configuration. And you're going to land here on the Provider area. We're going to search for my provider, Margot Parker. We're going to go ahead and update her schedule. So click on her name here, and you see here she has some things in for today, but everything else is all the way clear from, from now on. So you'll see a couple different icons in this new schedule. On the left-hand corner, you'll see what those are. You have a little calendar here for date overrides. Those are going to be manual dates that you put in, either already existing dates from your current schedule, or that you put in manually going forward. You also see a little infinity icon here. That's going to be for your templates, your regular schedule default templates. So as we go through today and build some of these things out, you'll see these things start to populate on the screen, and you'll learn which icons mean which things as we go. So for today at least, I have some things on my schedule, and you see here my little calendar. I have manually built out these two dates and times, so it's a manual icon. Now let's go ahead and build out a template. So if we're going to go over here to our Add Template button, I'm going to call this, let's say, Monday Template. We're going to have that for our clinic lovely line, so that's my default clinic as Margot. We're going to start that today at 12.05, and we're going to repeat indefinitely, so from now until forever. I'm going to make those hours from Monday only. I'm going to do, let's say, 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. We're going to do those as in-person only. We'll add another block, and we'll do from 4 until 6. And we'll do those in virtual. So you can just change here your type from obviously in-person, virtual, or all types. So now if I have this already set and I like my Monday, let's say I wanted to build this template out and go, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I can take my little copy button here and hit copy, and I can choose to add it to Tuesday and Wednesday. Hit apply, and then now it will go ahead and copy that to the next few days. If I do that, I might want to change my name up here to now Monday to Wednesday template. So I'll go ahead and click save here. And now this is going to show up on my schedule as a template. So you see my little infinity icon here, and you see my two breaks, my 9 to 3 and my 4 to 6. So now I've got a template on my schedule for Margo. And if I go until December all the way through the next year, the next year, the next year, it's going to be the same template every single day all the time. So my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays are already all done. Now let's say that I decide somewhere along the way that I want to change that schedule up just a bit and get rid of those days. I already have it existing, so I'm going to go through here, and I can see I have a template here, Monday to Wednesday, or just if I'm on my default, all templates, and I'm going to hit Edit Template. I'm going to edit this one, and I'm going to change that end date to say I want to just do this through, let's say, March 15th. So I'm going to go here and unclick indefinitely, and I'm going to change this date now to March 15th. So let's go to March 15th. I'm going to hit Save, and you'll see now, if we're to go forward here into March, and it now stops on the 15th. So I now have that template, no longer indefinitely, but from a finite start to finish time. So that one's all done, all good to go. Now let's say I want to change my, to a different clinic and add another template for, let's say, Thursday, Friday. So same process again. Go to All Templates here. You're going to add one. Let's call this Thursday, Friday. We're going to use this one instead for our other clinic, AR Dallas. So yes, I want to confirm that we're going to move it to a different clinic. And now we're going to go ahead and do our Thursday. And let's just do for this one, we'll do 1 p.m. until, let's say, 8 p.m. We'll go ahead and copy that. It's for all types. We'll copy that over to our Friday date. Apply it there. And now we have this schedule set up as well. I'm going to go ahead and make this also a finite end date. And let's make this start on or end on the same time, March 15th. So let's go to March 15th. Hit save, and now we should have, in our March date here, a new template that shows up, you'll see here, with our brown color for AR Dallas that shows a different clinic. So now we have two different templates, two different clinics, two different schedules and things all in one place. But they all have the same little icon that shows they're all going to be a default template. Now if I click my All Template button, I can see now both are here. I can filter by just my AR Dallas or just my Lovely Lines clinic and just look at that particular clinic. I can also edit those templates, and I can also make some, some date override. So what is a date override? Let's go back to our current today, and let's say we know that we have holiday coming up soon. So we want to go ahead and make an override and be off work on, let's say, Christmas Eve and Christmas. So I have now, on Christmas Day, 
I'm working, which is gonna be a, a not so good thing, right? So we're gonna go through here and delete those out. You have a couple different options. So you can go into here and click on your actual little blue schedule. So for us, our nine to three and our four to six, click on the little blue button there. I can actually delete this out. I can go through and delete. I can delete this one out. I can save the date. And now that little block is all gone. So I have nothing there on the 25th. So now I've got a template with all the dates on it, but I'm missing this one part here. So it's all gone, all clear. Now let's say I wanna also be on the 26th, I wanna be off as well, but I wanna just maybe come in a little bit later. I wanna be off in the morning and go ahead, I'll come in at four, but I'll be off at from nine till three. I click on that one and I can just delete out this top one, just like you would do now on the schedule and click save. And now I'm just on the schedule for that day from four until six. So pretty easy just to delete things out, but you see here, it changed my icon. So it went from my infinity icon to now the little calendar icon because I have changed this date to a manual change, a date override. I've overridden the default template with something that's manual. So you see a little bit of a manual little icon there that changes it up. I could also go in here now and add some more time to it if I wanted to. So I could go back into here. I could change this and say, you know what? I'm gonna come in at four, I'm gonna stay late that night. I'm gonna go here and change this to eight and stay late. I can go ahead and make that change there. I could also go in and change and add another clinic to this particular sheet here to go to like the other AR dial. So I can go ahead and click on the white space because again, think about it this way. If I already have a blue schedule there, I'm going to click into that blue schedule to change that clinic schedule. I don't have on here an AR dial schedule at all. So I'm going to, have to build one of those out for this day. So click in the white space, wherever you want to click in the white space. I'm going to change the clinic name here to AR Dallas. And I'm going to now change this. And let's say I'm going to do, I don't know, let's do a noon. Actually, we'll do, we'll do 120, let's say to 345. Give us time to get across town. I'll go ahead and save that. And you see now, as I refresh, let me go ahead and make all my, all my clinics show here. You'll see now I have this new 120 to 345 on the schedule. So I can go through and manually change by adding in another clinic. So to reiterate, if I wanna change the clinic that's already on the schedule, I click on the actual schedule time. So in this case, I would click on the four till six, and I can change it here. If I want to add a new clinic to the same day, click on the white space, and now I can do a date override for that new clinic. So it's just a little bit of a different thing based on which one you wanna do. So that's easy, got that done, no problem. Now, if I wanted to start a new template when these are over, so I'm looking ahead of my schedule to March 15th and thinking March 16th, I've gotta be on the schedule. I can go ahead and do that as well. So I can start a future template also. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our all templates. We're gonna add one, a new one. We'll call this March, Monday, Wednesday. And we will go ahead and make that change. So we'll go start that instead on March 16th. And just remember that as you look at the start dates, whatever the date is that stops, you have to start the next day. So we ended one on March 15th, we're gonna start a new one on March 16th. They can't be started and stopped on the same day. So on March 16th, we're gonna start a new schedule. And we'll go ahead and we'll click off of that and let's do our Monday, let's do our 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And let's go ahead and add in, we don't believe in lunch around here, so we're gonna go ahead and do a Tuesday, Wednesday, hit apply. And now you should see, if we repeat indefinitely, it'll go on forever. And hit save on March 15th, if I go to that day, we will have a new one that starts on the 15th. So you see here on the 18th, we just have the nine to five block that goes from now on till forever. So it's all there for you, you just put them all together. And you can now again filter by which ones you wanna start and stop and look at here on the filtering buttons. So that's how you set up your templates. Now you can mix and match, you can do different things on different days, you could even have um, a schedule one be clinic one, have a block in the middle of the day for clinic two and a block again at the end of the day for clinic you know, one again. It's really easy to manipulate it and make it however you wanna make it, but it's a default. So that means it's going to be this way forever. In order to change it, go and actually manipulate either your little manual date, or if you wanna change all the days in the schedule, so all Mondays going forward, you can do that through the actual template edit button. So we're gonna do that here. If I wanna change all the Mondays going forward from my March 16th schedule, I'm like, huh, I'm not gonna come in at 9 a.m. I'm not a morning person. Go into edit your template and choose now your March, Monday to Wednesday. And I'm going to change the start date, uh, start time until 11 a.m. So I can do that here for Monday. I can do it for all the days if I choose to, but at least for Monday, I'm gonna start at 11 a.m. So if I go ahead and hit save here, it will update my entire schedule for that clinic for those days. If I look at that template now, let's just go to that March, isolate that one out. You'll see here on Mondays, I have an 11 a.m. start date now. So I can change the whole template forevermore by going to edit template button. If I can just change today by going into the actual blue little box there and changing it on the date. 
So in a nutshell, the templates are very easy to work. You can do all the different default things. You can make uh, virtual, in-person, however you want to do it. It's all here for you. Just remember that if you want to stop the template and you want to make it end, put your end date to whatever that date is. And then if you want to start the new one, start it the day after. So for instance, in this case, if I want to go ahead and make a new schedule starting, let's say in, I don't know, let's start a new schedule, let's say May, May 07, so May 7th in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to stop my schedule for this particular clinic, for this particular default, on the 6th. So if I were to go into here and hit edit, and I wanna change this, I'm going to go ahead and stop it now on May 6th. Once I've done that, then I can now start a new one on May 7th. So just make sure that if you think about deleting it out, it really isn't a delete option. You're gonna go through and stop it instead by changing the end date. So once you've changed the end date, you'll see here in my dropdown, this will stay here, the March, Monday to Wednesday, will stay here until May 6th. And once May 6th rolls around, that will fall off of my dropdown. So even if I were to delete out manually the last week of that template, because the template is still going until that day, it's gonna still show my dropdown until the template has run its life cycle. So if you want the template to go away and be off, the, off of your calendar entirely, make sure to put your stop date to that date for the stop time so that it goes away forever. So that's how you do your default templates. Now let's look at a few things around date overrides. So there's a few days here that I'm not on the schedule at all. So let's go back to today. I'm going to be completely off of work on Saturday. So let's say I just wanna add in a few days for Saturday that, you know, just to get some things done, I wanna go in and do some additional patient um, visits. I can go ahead and click in here and just do it with my override button. So if I click into the white space, remember white space always gives you the override because nothing is already there. So if something's already there, I'll click on the actual thing and change it. But if I have nothing there and it's white, click on that. So let's say on the 23rd, right before Christmas, we're gonna go ahead and click on our white space. We're gonna work half a day at Lovely Lines. So let's say we're gonna work from nine until 12 at Lovely Lines. We'll do all types. Go ahead and get that saved. And we're gonna also come in here and we're going to do, at our other clinic, we'll do from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m and we'll do in person only. I'll go ahead and save that. So now you see I've added a manual override for just those two days on that Saturday. I can do that forever if I want to, a couple different Saturdays here and there, whatever it is. But think about your default template as being a recurring thing that happens every single week without fail, without any issue, until you, end, until you stop it or end it. If you want to check your overrides and to see all your manual days, just click here on your delete date overrides button. You can see your full list here so you'll know what you've already booked outside of your template in case you wanna move those things around. Now, let's go ahead and book for Margo, and let's see what happens if you try to delete a date that already has an appointment on it. So let's go ahead and look at, we'll go for the, for the 19th. Let's say I wanna delete the whole template out, all the way through whatever's on the 19th, I wanna delete the whole thing out. And I go here to edit the templates. I'll pick my Monday to Wednesday. If I wanna go ahead and change this, and change the date to end instead on, let's say, December 18th, for instance, and hit save. I can't do it. So you're gonna get a little notification here that says, nope, can't happen. You have a, a, a already booked appointment. That it's already on the schedule. You gotta cancel that thing first, move it around, do something to get it off. So you're gonna see a time conflict here. So you'll always know before it lets you delete anything that you're gonna get this little note that says you can't do it. So when you get that, obviously go look at the date, see what's happening. If I were to cancel that appointment off or reschedule it, I can now go in and cancel the date here and change, the, you know, do the whole new template. The same for the date override. So if I were to go ahead and in that day on the 19th, if I were to change this and try to delete it out and hit save, same issue, I can't do it. So it will protect you from making a mistake with as, you know, accidentally canceling something that already has a date on it or a visit on it. So don't panic with that, it'll all be here for you. So as you look at this, you have a couple things to remember. You're going to set your default dates. That can be as many as you want to do, templates that you want to do. But think about them as like long-term things that are pretty consistent across you know, multiple weeks, days, and months. So set your default templates Again, by going to your All Templates button here and hitting Add. You can make changes for those dates if you wanna do the changes for every single Wednesday or every single Friday by going into your Edit button, editing the actual template itself and changing it so that it now repeats that same change indefinitely. You can also make changes to just a few dates that you wanna change by going into the actual date, the little schedule that you have already there, the little colored block, and making that change directly here by saying, I wanna you know, go instead until 6 p.m. I can also add a new clinic to that same day if there's nothing there that's, that's gonna conflict with that by going to the white space here and clicking to make a date override. So I'm gonna override the default template with a new clinic and a new time. 
So again, I'm going to manipulate my existing time, or I'm going to make a whole new time that doesn't exist at all with the override button. I can also go into days that I'm off entirely and click to do again a date override with multiple clinics, multiple time frames. If I try to delete anything out that already has a visit in it, it's going to let me know you cannot do that. It's going to give me a conflict button there to say, can't do it, reschedule it. Beyond that, it's going to be just your regular booking process, your out-of-office process, nothing else is going to change. The biggest thing to know here is that if you already have things booked and you already have a schedule in the works, don't change it. You're going to have little manual icons for all those days already baked in. Just use a manual icon, use the manual days, and go ahead and get through your current schedule. But as you think about opening up new days going forward, it's a great time to go ahead and build out those templates and get that in so that you can look at, you know, again, from now until forever. The cool thing about this is as patients go to book with you, they're going to be able to book with you now for a very long time because it's going to all be there already done for you. So it's easy for them to look ahead in the future and go ahead and make those dates and, and get those things booked. But going forward, use it, looking in reverse, leave whatever you have there now and just keep going. And don't forget that you can edit your templates for both clinics. You can go ahead and filter your views and things, but it's all here for you. If you have any questions at all about this or it's confusing, we have a great article. It's going to be attached to your uh, video here, but also in our what's new section. It's going to go through screen by screen by screen, all the various features and benefits of this and how to work them all. So if you get stuck, don't panic. Go to that article and find your little screenshot that you need and walk through the steps to get it done. But it's a great new feature for you and hopefully makes your life a whole lot easier. If you have any questions at all, let us know. Send us a live chat or an email, and we will see you guys with the next big feature. Thanks.